I think both in the United States, in the United States, Indian doctors are more valued than they're valued here. And uh, because there is, there's nothing wrong to pick us up who are properly qualified, who are courteous, who are doctors, who are professionals. Uh, one can't deny it was stupid to deny that there was never any racialism, or there was never favoritism or anything. Because they say that when an Englishman strikes you at the back, it takes you 10 years to know he hit you. You know, they're so courteous, they're so polite. And I, 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 I must say that I would have been more discriminated against in India than I was in this country. And uh, because when I'm going out, no one knows I'm a doctor. Where we live, no one cares who's a doctor. But I don't think when she said that we ever met over we don't never on holiday, never on seeking accommodation, no job. I, I, I didn't come across it. The problems that were there and Sikhs had to overcome the major problems of the Turban, of Kripal, and they were all there. But they were they were rather fixed. They were they were outlined why a bus driver can't, why he had to wear safety helmet, or why. So I think the problem for me was we live in a liberal democracy and Sikhs have to be accommodated within the, uh, within the democracy. So whenever you read all the rules and everything, the British government didn't change the law they made an exception. They made an exception for the six to wear it. Make an exception for six to wear a karpan. Make an exception to do it. There was a struggle. I mean, you know, this very good war is the center of the great turban debate in schools. And, uh, but it was there. It was civilized, it was there, it was frustrating. But six knew that who will get there. I don't think six ever felt in this country that we will not get there. So I think the impression people get it that 20 years ago it was all waste and you know, it has to happen. <coughs>